Have you ever considered visiting an art place? Have you ever wondered where the landscapes portrayed in the most famous paintings in the world are located? Would you like to discover them together with two landscape seekers? The investigation of Rosetta Borca and Olivia Nesci will plunge you into a thrilling detective story to the discovery of invisible landscapes. In 1465, Piero della Francesca painted the diptych of the Duchess and Duke of Urbino, one of the most famous paintings of the Italian Renaissance. Everyone knows how Federico da Montefeltro, the man with a broken nose, looked like. But have you ever wondered where the landscapes at his back could be located? Solve this mystery. Try and discover those landscapes. Look closely. These two hills, looking almost like mother and daughter old in ants, may still exist. If so, where are them? Here are some clues. The biggest hill has a name, it's the Fronzoso mountain, and the valley underneath is known as the Valley of the River Metauro. Piero della Francesca portrayed a single landscape with Federico's portrait at the middle of it. All the clues lead to the Metauro Valley, an area the painter was particularly fond of. Do you need more help? Here it is. This is the road the painter used to take when traveling to Urbino from his own town, the city of San Sepolcro. After more than 500 years, that road is still there. The lake and the boats have disappeared. What might have happened? Actually, the lake was created artificially by the dudes who simply loved migrant bird hunting. Do you know who ferried the courtes to the lake? Three young boatmen named Giovan Francesco, Alessandro and Gian Battista. The valley of the Marecchia River is the new protagonist. The landscape in Battista Sforza's portrait is also equally faithful to the place that has recently been discovered. It is up to you to observe and pay attention to every little detail. The crag of Maioletto in its left part doesn't look exactly like it did in the past. Geomorphology helps us understand the changes occurred over the centuries. Historic documents show that a major landslide on May the 29th, 1700 caused the crag to collapse on that side. According to an old local legend, the landslide was a punishment for the libertine behavior of the people living in the castle of Maioletto. Actually, the whole Valmarecchia area has always been prone to landslides. It is not by chance that in 1705, Monsignor Lancisi, the Pope's envoy in Montefeltro, defined those areas as places where trees are able to work the same way men do. Now it's up to you. Look closely at the third painting of the diptych of the Duchess and Duke of Urbino, The Triumphs. Let's go back to the valley of the river Metauro. Can you see those small hills? Here they are. These are the San Lorenzo and Farneta hills. And there are the San Pietro and the Asdrubale mountains. Federico da Montefeltro was particularly fond of this place, as it seems that the famous battle of the Metauros between the Romans and the Carthaginians took place right here, in 207 before Christ. Now it is much easier. Visit this amazing region. You will discover other hard landscapes painted not only by Piero della Francesca, but also by other glorious Renaissance painters. Join us. Visit an art landscape.